What's going on you guys and welcome back to another Luma Fusion tutorial. In today's video we're going to take a look at the advanced chroma key effect which also came with Luma Fusion 2.5. For, and I must say I am really impressed. Now for this I'm using the green sheet, uh, green screen sheet behind me here and uh, I also use the Godox Studio Light and the Godox Softbox. This is what I use in all my videos and it's a really really cheap and you get a lot of light for the buck. I also placed my camera on the tripod from Manfrotto, which I also placed on my desk to get the proper height needed. So that's basically everything that I needed to rig to pull off this effect. Now let's take a look at the example first before we jump over to Lima Fusion. Now once we get over to the iPad and over to LumaFusion, the first thing we need to do is to add a background image. This is to make the chroma keying a lot easier. Now I selected a photo of the iPad, so that's what we're going to use in today's video. Now the next thing I did was to take the video file and apply it to the timeline as well. Then I went through the steps here to find the certain points which I wanted to use in the video. And uh, once I've done that, I simply just trimmed it down. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to trim it down here, delete the first part. I'm going to find the point where I am not using this particular clip anymore. So that would be around here. And I'm going to do the same with the last part as well. And as you can see, I'm going in from different angles to create that walk-in effect as well. Let's delete that. And what we can do now is to simply take this or all these three clips here, just select them, all of them, and drag them on top of the clip, which is on track one. We're going to go into the first one here. And I'm going to go over to cropping right away. And I'm going to crop in. So the only part I see is the, uh, the green uh, background here, the green screen, and myself like that. Moving over to color and effects and over to the keyhole and select chroma key. And once chroma key is selected to make everything a lot easier now with LumaFusion 2.4, we're going to tap on this button right here, which is the mask. So this is showing mask. So as you can see, it's a lot easier to do the different changes now because we can actually see what type of impact this is doing. Now on the left hand side, you can see that the cropping wasn't really that great. So we're going to go on and check that. Now, another important thing is to scroll through your clip here as you have the mask on, because here you can see if there is any parts of your clip, which you might want to do a cut to, or simply to adjust the chroma key. Now we're going to disable the mask and I want to take the erosion distance a little bit in. This is actually cropping in the edge of the chroma as you can see here once I drag this back and forth. So I'm going to leave that at 2 and the blur radius I want to stay at. Let's let's just keep it at 2. And we now have a fully functional keyed out green screen clip here which I can apply to whatever background or video I want. Now we're going to do the same thing with the next one, but first I just want to copy this um, these effects here, paste them on the next one, and I want to do the same with the last one. Now I'm going to go into the different clips here and over to chroma key. So again, we're going to go over to the show mask. I'm going to take the hue range a little bit down and also with the saturation range. And I want to take the erosion up to two and uh, scrub through the clip here just to see how it looks. And uh, since this is another clip which is basically going on top of this, I can go to the point where I am walking into the frame here, so which is around here. And if I now take the position X inside of size and position and frame and fit here, I can drag myself over to the right side to place myself in a better position. So when I walk in, I end up standing here. Maybe I want to have myself a little bit more to the right like that. And now let's move over to the last clip here. We're going to do the same. We're going to go over to color and effects and chroma key mask on 
and we're simply just going to scrub through here and see if there's any parts we want to correct. Now, if everything is good, then we can just leave it as it is. And we can go over to frame and fit here. I'm going to find the point where I am walking into the frame here and drag that over to the right. Also find the position where everyone is uh, together. So I'm going to take this and just drag on top here and make sure that I am correctly placed and I'm not standing on top of myself. So I've now cloned myself three times with the help of the advanced chroma keying, which is now available in LumaFusion 2.4. And uh, this looks a lot cleaner and better than what we were able to do previously with LumaFusion 2.3. So now if we render this out, it will look something like this. So there we have a quick example of how you can use the chroma key for your videos. If you want to check out more chroma key videos, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That would be really appreciated. And also give it a thumbs up if you really liked it. And um, with that said, I'll see you in the next video.